What's up, YouTube? So uh, tonight, Manny Pacquiao and Adrian Broner had a fight. And uh, Manny Pacquiao beat Broner. Um, it was... Uh, well, Broner did his typical fashion that he does, that he's been doing his past couple fights and not throwing his hands. Um, I think he averaged a lot. I think he landed like maybe like eight punches around. You know, I mean, he was completely the non-aggressor. Manny Pacquiao was the aggressor the whole time. He was, you know, chasing uh, Broner. He was throwing punches. He was doing combinations. He was doing everything to engage. But Broner wasn't having it. Now, granted, Broner did look like, you know, I mean, he, he, he did look good in there. But he just wasn't throwing his hands. And he was running. So I just, you know, it's just really, you know, disappointing. That to have this big opportunity to fight against a, a major Hall of Famer and Manny Pacquiao to have him just, you know, I guess take this nonchalantly or I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. You know, he's been told over and over and over again, you got to throw your hands. You got to throw punches. I mean, this could have been a good fight. This could have been a legitimately good fight if he would have just thrown his hands. But he just doesn't do it. It's like, I, I don't know what's I mean, they have to have gone over it in training camp. It's like, why can't we not throwing punches? How do you think you're going to win? So, uh, I don't know. Manny did his thing. I'm happy for him. He won. You know, he deserved it. Um, so, here's the after uh, after fight uh, press conference with the uh, Adrian Broner. So, let's see what this guy has to say. As you can see, uh, I wear these glasses for fashion. I ain't, I ain't got a mark on me. Um, uh, it was a hell of a fight. You know, uh, I give props to Manny Pacquiao. You know what I mean? I ain't about to go up here and go crazy. I, I ain't got to. Um, my performance tonight talked for me. Um, they thought I was going to come in here and be in the mud, and, and, and they was just going to move around me and fuck me up. And I came and I gave them what they wasn't looking for. Now, granted, he didn't get beat up. There are no marks on his face or anything like that. Obviously, he did get knocked out. But he didn't give Manny Pacquiao a chance to knock him out or beat him up or beat up his face. Because he was running the majority of the time. You know, I hate to say it, but he was running and not throwing any punches. It's like, you got to get in there. You have to engage. How do you think you're going to win? It's like this fool is delusional. It's like you, I'm really starting to think he might be retarded. I mean, he seriously might be retarded. He actually thinks he won this fight. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's hear what else he has to say. Um, if you ask me, I feel like I won the fight. Um, I'm not I'm not about to sit here. I'm not about to sit here and um, with a sad face. You know, I'm all right. I'm all right. And I will be back, and I will be champion again. And all you motherfuckers will still tune in. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm still AB. I'm the same person. Y'all never seen me fight like this. Y'all never seen me in shape like this. I dedicated myself. I put the work in, and I came and I worked my ass off. Now, I give it to Adrian Broner. He's right. He, he, he did look good in the ring. Like I said before, he looked good. He looked like he knew what he was doing. He was aware. But he just didn't throw his hands. You got to throw punches. You have to throw punches. You know, There's no way to win. You know, but he did look good moving around. He did, you know, uh, ring awareness. You know, everything that goes along with that. But he just wasn't throwing his punches. You know? I mean, you're not going to win if you don't throw them. And with that being said... I answer a couple of questions before I go enjoy myself for the night. I ain't, I ain't having no fucked up night tonight. I swear to God, I ain't. I feel good. I feel good. I still look good. And, and, and right now, it's time to cash checks and have sex, man. Adrian, right here. When you jumped up on the ring ropes after the fight, and then you said in the interview that you thought you won the fight, and you come here, you say you think you won the fight. I, have, I struggle with that because I looked at some statistics in the fight. It was clear you, he hurt you several times in the fight. He hurt me a couple of times. Right. 
you landed 50 punches in the fight. You only threw 200 and something punches. We talked about that you don't let your hands go. You didn't in this fight. You landed one punch in the 12th round. I wonder if you really believe in your heart. You actually won the fight. Yeah, hell yeah, I, I believe I won the fight. Shit, that's just like, that's just like w when you believe that you want cheese on that burger. <laughs> you know what you looking for. <laughs> hell yeah. Now, maybe I'm retarded. Now, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. You want cheese on your hamburger. Maybe I'm missing something. I, I don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> I feel like I won, Dan. Come on now. Now, we got a love-hate relationship. Don't let me do this. <laughs> I got the mic. I'll fuck you up up here now. <laughs> I've got the mic too, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I'll fuck you up up here now. But 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 I really did believe that I want to fight. Like I said, man, you know um. I'm, I'm going to answer anybody question. I, I don't feel bad for myself. I feel good. What's up? Huh. What's up with you? A.B. What up, baby? Tiffany had her South Central News. She ready. What up with it? Gang, gang. Gang, gang. On God, no. All that. Question for you. Yeah. Can you hook your girl up with a Fashion Nova outfit? Man, <laughs> you got whatever you want, man. Hey, hey. And I'm going to let you know, just like I came out and performed and I didn't get it, I, I didn't get the uh, decision. Keep your head up, girl. Oh, boy, don't trip on me because she ready and she winning. I'll be okay. in here in Vegas next week tearing it up. Don't play with me. Okay. okay. Keep your head up, yeah, baby. My head stay up. Ask, ask any dude that mess with me. She ready. And I don't know what the hell that lady's talking about either. I mean, how many people in this in this crowd are just as retarded as they be? And someone needs to tell the lady this press conference is about the fight that just happened. This wasn't no goddamn fashion show. I mean, did I miss something? Like, did I miss something? Hey, uh, every, uh, Senator Packer wants to thank everybody. He's got a little bit of cold, so he's going to go. But he really thanks uh, Adrian Broner for everything. Gave it a heck of an effort, and he will be back as a champ. Hey, champ! Hey, Adrian. Um, what, which part of the fight made you think uh, and say that you beat the Senator tonight? Um, um, I felt good, man. You know, um, I'm going to go back and watch the fight. I'm going to go back and watch the fight. But um, when my performance tonight, I felt like I won the fight. Adrian, BoxingVoice.com here. Got to ask, uh, I feel like this, the numbers that were just brought up doesn't really give credit. You had ter uh, terrific ring movement. You looked very great. You let your hands go earlier than what you would usually you know, do in previous fights. What was the motivation behind it, and do you feel that it can continue uh, for your, you know, from here on out? Um, I was ready. I, I prepared myself. Um, I trained my ass off, and um, I was ready to fight. You know, uh, like I said before, they they was hoping that I came in here and just got destroyed, <laughs> um, which that didn't happen. And uh, you know, I. I knew I was coming. I knew I, I was the underdog, and, and they was against me already, but it's all right. I'll be back, and I will be champion again. Adrian? Adrian? Where right, you over, at? right over here. Okay. Uh, Michelle Phelps with Behind the Gloves. I'm just curious. I know you want to take some time off, but is there anyone in particular? Man, I ain't taking no time off. I'm going right back to the gym. They got okay. me fucked up. Even, even better. But who would you like to face next? Is there anyone in particular that you can think of? Listen. I'm probably right. the only person that do what I do in boxing. Look at my last five fights. I fought champion after champion after champion after champion. And if they ask me to fight anybody that's a champion, I'm going to fight them. I, I'm a street nigga, man. I don't give a fuck. Gang, gang for real, man. I don't think uh, Adrian Broner understands that people are laughing at him, not with him. You know, let me take that back. 
with all the retards that are probably in that crowd supporting him, just like that lady, they might be laughing with him. You know, I, I, I don't know. This is weird. This is weird. I'm ready to hit, man. Right now. Tomorrow. Hey, it's Justin. Uh, Ryan O'Hara, FightNights.com. Adrian, um, you know, evaluating your performance, do you think there was anything that you could have improved on? If I have the right statistic, you landed three body punches in the fight? Um, it's, it, it... Wow. You hear that? He landed three body punches in a whole fight. Three body punches landed in a whole fight. And this man really thinks he won? I mean, he, like I said, he's got to be retarded or he's been paid off. He, he had to been paid off. This is a setup for him to just fight, get in the way in a, a tuna fight for Manny Pacquiao for possibly for it, Floyd Mayweather to come in and, and, and fight Manny. Because all this really is, all this really is going to happen is Floyd Mayweather is going to have to come in and clean up Adrian Boner shit and beat Pacquiao again. That's all this really is. It's just a tune-up fight. Every fight you can approve something. Um, I, like I said, I haven't watched the fight yet, but um, I will go watch the fight, and um, we're going right back to the gym. You landed some good counters. They seem to come at the end of a round right before the bell. You landed a two-punch combination that rocked them. Um, was there any talk in your corner that you needed to do more body work and uh, set up some of those those counter rights a little bit better? Um, fighting a guy like Manny, who's a who's a who's a tremendous counter puncher, uh, it's certain things that you can and can't do. And um, you know, um, I was just making the right decisions at the right time that I felt like like, like was a, was the right time for me. So uh, you know, I'm all right. We we'll take one more. That's it? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got one. Broner, uh, being a big boxing fan that I am, uh, watching your fights throughout your whole life, uh, I feel like this is your fight that I seen you, like, uh, be the most fit. Like, man, I, I know you train hard for this fight. Jesus Christ. There goes that second retard in the crowd that was probably played off. Somebody in Adrian Broner's camp probably gave that kid probably $200 to sit there and play the devil's advocate and say, you know what, Adrian, you look really good. You were, you know, you look good walking around the ring and running around the ring and, you know, running away from Manny Pacquiao. And it's just, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to figure out and find something good to say about you because they gave me 200 bucks. You know what? I'm through with this. I'm out.